a servant of God, I am Robert Simon. Beloved in Christ, loving greetings. We saw what was incredulous faith and what was incredible faith in our last talks. In this word study, we are going to consider another type of faith. The last hour's talk was about the incredible faith of a Roman centurion. Jesus marveled at the faith of the centurion and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. This talk will be about the faith of a Canaanite woman. We shall go to Matthew chapter 15 and we shall read from verse 21 through 28. Verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Her mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And their daughter was made whole from the very hour. Here a woman of Canaan came unto Jesus and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. She came to Jesus with great expectations. But alas, she faced with many hard obstacles beyond any imagination. Obstacle number one. But Jesus answered her not a word. Here we see the grave silence of God giving no answer to our cry. We don't know whether he even heard our cry, our prayers. Nevertheless, she was keeping on crying, Her mercy on me, O Lord, her mercy on me. Jesus said, Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. But literally Jesus said, Keep on asking till it's given. Keep on seeking till you find. Her faith was great. She was keeping on crying, Lord, have mercy on me, till she could find an answer. Obstacle number two. And Jesus' disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. The indifference of the disciples of Jesus Christ is of helping that poor, wretched woman the disciples, the servant of God, considered her a nuisance, a very great obstacle which may keep us away from his community. Obstacle number three. But Jesus answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. It appears that we are not worthy for God's mercy. We are outside his commonwealth. A very harsh message that Jesus is not for me will certainly make anyone turn away from Jesus. But that woman from Canaan then came and worshipped him, then came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. Even after that, Jesus said that harsh statement. She said, Lord, help me. Obstacle number four. But Jesus answered and said, It is not me to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. What she expected from Jesus was mercy and help. 
totally contrary to her humble expectation, came from Jesus a very harsh, discriminatory remark which could shatter her ego and national pride. It is the least expected of Jesus. For this remark, she must have cursed Jesus and swearing against him, left the place. But her reaction was different. In verse 27 we read, And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. It surely an invincible faith, which is too powerful to be defeated or to overcome. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Her faith got her what she hoped for. Invincible faith. I shall, God willing, meet you in my next talk. Till then, God bless you, God be with you. I am yours, Robert Simon.